In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Krita AI image add-on so that in the end, what you should be able to do is something like this, where you draw an image over here. And what will happen as you draw is that the AI will start generating the image. And so for example, now if I put in a house in the corner, so I'm just gonna draw a house here. You can see that the AI has also put in a house on the left as well. So installing this is quite easy. So what you want to do is go to the Krita AI Diffusion GitHub page. I'll link this in the description below. And what the requirements are is that you have a GPU with at least 6 GB of VRAM. So to install, you want to make sure you have Krita installed already. And then you want to click download the plugin. And this will take you to this page. What you want to do is just click on this zip file over here to begin the download. Once that's downloaded, you want to go back to the program and then go on Tools scripts and then import python plugin from file and then you want to select the zip file that you just installed and then click open so i already have the plugin so i'm just going to click yes and then i'm just going to click yes again and then what i'm going to do is restart the program once you restarted what you need to do is go to settings and then dockers and then you should see the option for ai image generation so click on that and then we need to actually configure it before we use it so click on this and then we're going to do local managed server. You're going to put in the server path that you want to use. And below that, you should see a list of the different models and extensions that you can download. What I recommend doing is doing Stable Diffusion 1.5 and then using the three recommended checkpoints. So ensure these are all selected. And additionally, what I recommend is that you do the control net scribble module as well. So once you've done that, you want to click install and the install itself does take a while. Now, once that's installed, what you want to do is go to the right over here, select the live option, and then type in the thing that you want to see. So for this example, I want to see a mountain landscape. And then I recommend just leaving the strength to something like 80%. And then finally, I'm going to add in the control net scribble module that we installed earlier. And now if I click play and start drawing my actual image, what you should be able to see is that as I'm drawing the image, the AI image generation is also generating its image as well. Additionally, I can also change the prompt if I want. So I'm going to do summer and then green. And you can see that our image has also changed. And if you look closely enough, you can still see that it's kept the two peaks that I've drawn within my image. So that was just a quick tutorial. If you do want to find out more about how to use this Krita AI diffusion, what you want to do is search up Comfy UI tutorials because that is the technology this is based on. And you can definitely get a lot more better quality images than the ones that I'm drawing right now. So hopefully that helps. Leave any questions in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next video.